Boyd Barrett. Um, I think the situation we're in now is obviously thoroughly unsatisfactory, um, where we as the opposition came in with a whole series of questions um, regarding the National Broadband, La Broadband Plan uh, process um, and the question of Minister Nocton's relationships and meetings with David McCourt. The Minister has chosen to resign and then to leave the Chamber, but our questions still remain. Um, and I think it's entirely appropriate that the Business Committee will have to meet and someone on behalf of the Government will have to come to answer the questions that still remain, because the National Broadband Plan process still remains on track, is still moving despite the numerous problems that now uh, beset it. Um, we hadn't called for Minister Nocton's uh, resignation, but we did think that he had very, very serious questions to answer, and he has chosen now not to answer those questions, but to re preempt that with his uh, resignation. Um, this you know, latest step of the scandal um, arose from Minister's questions yesterday. Um, where I think it was fair to say for anyone who was in the chamber that Minister Nocton was uh, evasive at best in terms of answering questions that arose from Deputy Dooley in relation to the lunch in the Dáil on the 18th of, of April, the same day, ironically, that he was dealing in the Dáil with the last scandal that he was uh, involved in. And, you know, he, he, the Minister, and he's not here to defend himself now, but he chose not to be here to defend himself, uh, it had to be asked, I think it was three times, before he gave an answer that gave any information about the fact that he was aware that Mr McCourt was in the building on that day. And we hadn't called for his resignation, but I think if further information had come out about that, for example, any information that suggested he had met with Mr McCourt on that day, I think in that case his position would have been entirely untenable. In any case, based on the information that was already in the public domain, it was clear that Minister Nocton had broken the department rules specifically relating to the National Broadband Plan in relation to his interactions with Mr uh, McCourt. The rules are very uh, clear that meetings will only happen uh, when absolutely necessary in exceptional circumstances and effectively the Minister or his officials are to try to avoid such interactions. Um, but the Minister accepted an invitation to attend a, a meeting on the explicit basis for Mr McCourt that the meeting was to reassure them in relation to a series of concerns that had arisen regarding the bid tender had been resolved. So it related explicitly to the bid. Minister Nocton knew about that, agreed to have the meeting. It was entirely inappropriate and it represented a breach of uh, the rules. Um, it was also obviously entirely inappropriate to host a birthday party for, in the Oireachtas for the daughter of the only bid left standing in terms of one of the biggest, um, most high value uh, tenders in the history of the, of the state. So Minister Nocton isn't going to answer those questions, that's, that's fine, he's chosen uh, to resign, but, but I think we still need someone to answer these questions, because I, I finish on this, is that it, it, it seems to me in terms of the entire process of this broadband plan, you have a litany of everything that is wrong with crony capitalism in Ireland, um, and capitalism fundamentally in Ireland, a process whereby something that should have been a public utility was gone out to private uh, tender, where all of the other bids go out, where it seems that the cost of the bid then rose, uh, the cost of the tender then rose subsequently uh, to that, where in the background listed as either a major contractor or a partner is Dennis O'Brien's uh, Actavo taking over from SiteServe, uh, and where you just seem to have open door access for you know, people like Mr McCourt and Mr McCourt's family to have birthday parties and so on in the Oireachtas, in the halls uh, of power, uh, absolutely inappropriately.